Titans of CNC, another new machine day. Now, this ain't just any machine. This is the new Minx 7500. So, let's see what's in the box. Looks like a spaceship. Jesse thinks it's a pot roast, but what it really is is a machine that he'll finally be capable of running. Three axes. Man. That's two more than I'm familiar with. <laughs> Oh man, you guys should see the ways inside this thing. They're freaking huge. Now that we got this bad boy unwrapped, let's get it in the shop so we can rip some chips. It's all about levels. Bring it, taking out the old machines, bringing in new ones, the latest technology. Boom. I'm excited, check this out. Boom! You know what's a crazy testament to this machine? It's the only machine that I actually have gotten rid of in the past, not because I didn't want it, but I was moving to Texas. I didn't feel like I needed it and I was moving in some other directions, but when I got here, I missed it because this machine is the Minx Beast. So it's just like the one that we have in California. Boom, come over here. Ooh, but guess what now? It's bigger. Look at this. Oh, it's nice, big machine. So this is the 7500. We had the 6500 before, and this is a three axis mill with crazy power. It's got the big spindle in here. So you got the Cat 50 dual contact, your flange and the taper, everything's touching so everything's super rigid not only is the holder and the spindle crazy rigid but you got 40 horsepower and the torque is at 455 so you can put some big old drills in there and you can actually cut some hard materials right here so literally my favorite three axis machine but guess what we did now Boom, coma precision, fourth axis right here on the table. It's easy to take in and out, and we're gonna actually do some crazy fourth axis work on this machine. We got nice room over here just to do some crazy parts. The first part that I'm gonna be doing is a nice titanium crazy trick aerospace job where I'm gonna be doing that and teaching you guys how to program this really cool part, and then you can take that entire process, use it, to actually quote the exact part from different companies because I'm doing a part that is done on these rockets right here. Everything that we do, copy it, go make some money with it, all right? Oh, check out our Miss Collector. Aero X is in the house, so we did a lot of research. I only run machines and tools that I believe in, that this company believes in. And we're looking at the technology and the price. Just because it's crazy technology, if people are watching us and they're spending crazy money, then that's a problem. So we just actually partnered with AeroX and we are a distributor for them. So you can actually go on our store and buy it. So check this out. A couple reasons. One, best technology. These things work. They're amazing. They're easy to actually put on. We're going to do a video to show you guys how easy it is that anybody can basically put this thing 
on their machine. Second would be the price. The price is just a good, solid, fair price. A lot of other mist collectors are priced a lot higher than this one, yet this one has crazy technology. It's priced with a great, fair price, and you guys can buy it at titansofcnctooling.com, and boom, misfit in the house right there. Let me, let me come over here. Now, this guy is incredibly fast. So usually when you see fourth axis is in motion, they're just kind of like, right? Watch this guy move. So I'm gonna have to close the door. Now watch, made a quick little MDI program. So I'm simply going to hit this guy. Boom, super fast. Woo so smooth, so smooth. KP is in the house, coma precision. So that's another thing that we're gonna be teaching on, just doing crazy parts on this fourth axis, on this machine, hard materials showing all aspects of it. Now I used to have like a, a BF11, like a Haas. And I remember I was doing all of these aluminum parts. I couldn't even tap a half 13 pipe tap. You know what I mean? I couldn't even tap a thread on that thing. The spindle would just stop. That's why today, like, I'm all about the power. The machine was great on aluminum and different things like that, but we just need the torque. We need the power. And then you see this bad boy right here. And as you come around, you actually see the tool magazine that holds 48 tools right in that magazine. They're Cat 50 dual contact beast holders so that when you have the power and the torque, you can actually get after it in this machine. And you know what type of tools would be good in this machine? Can of metal shell mills. And if you go to titansofcnctooling.com, the shell mills right now with inserts are up to 60% off for the mill 411 and the mill 412 KT, up to 60% off right now. And the proceeds go to help us fund free education for you guys. Boom, and that's it. The Minx Beast is in the house. Special shout out to Ellison Technology. Thank you guys so much for everything. Next video, we're gonna be running some titanium parts on here giving you guys some crazy tutorials on how to precision machine these crazy aerospace parts. Boom, I'll see you in the future. I'm out. Well, full panic mode. 12 days and I have 100 hours of cycle time, so. At least now I have a machine that's one step closer. The bad thing is it's Friday, so that means two days are going to disappear this weekend. Monday my tooling gets here, and then finally I can get started. Yeah!